Hello everyone, my name is Carlos Luis, and today, on behalf of my co-authors, Marijan Bukosavliev and Professor Angela Scholig, I'll be presenting our latest work titled Online Trajectory Generation with Distributed Model Predictive Control for Multi-Robot Motion Planning, accepted at the International Conference on Robotics and Automation, ICRA 2020. I'll begin by motivating our work by asking why are we interested in studying these distributed algorithms in which the agents rely solely on local information about its neighbors and its environment. And the answer is that they're able to scale to large number of agents. Take as an example the Intel's drone show at the 2018 Winter Olympics that displayed 500 drones highly coordinated. Our general problem statement is called the point-to-point -point transition problem, which goes as follows. Given n robots with known dynamics and a finite workspace, we need to generate trajectories to drive them from initial locations to desired final locations. The problem may be solved either offline or online. In this paper, we focus on online methods since they have added robustness during execution. There's been some prior work on the area, mainly optimal reciprocal collision avoidance, achieving real-time computations, and more recently, buffered Voronoi cells method, which also accounts new obstacles, wrong initial positions, and external disturbances. Based on this prior work, our contributions are as follows. First, a scalable framework for multi-robot real-time trajectory generation, Secondly, an event trigger replanning strategy for robust execution. And lastly, an experimental evaluation with a quadrotor swarm. We begin by defining the prediction model used for our agents. On the left side, we have the input that serves as a set point for our controller. And on the right side, we have the measured states from the agent. In our case, we use the position reference as a set point for the controller, and we measure the, both the position and the velocity of the agents. In the MPC, we wish to compute the optimal input sequence over a finite horizon. We abstract the system as a linear model that captures the tracking dynamics of the agent. And we use these simpler dynamics to efficiently compute new inputs using the MPC method. The position reference is parameterized as a concatenation of Bessie curves. The advantages is that we're able to parameterize a continuous curve with a finite set of control points. We also can impose a smoothness requirements easily, which are translated into optimization constraints within the MPC. And lastly, such a curve can be sampled for any time t of the time horizon. In our distributed model predictive control, we allow information sharing. Let's take a look at this. So here we have a few agents, and on the horizontal axis, we have the time. So first, we need to compute the series of inputs for the agents for a time horizon of length t sub h. Then we allow the agents to share their predicted states with neighbors. Then the agents will apply a first series of inputs until time t sub s. And at this point, we measure again the states and repeat the whole process. Now, how do we perform these input updates? So first, we must choose a suitable initial value for our input. Then we will check for collisions using the information shared among agents. And lastly, we will build and solve an optimization problem in the form of a QP. So let's take a look at how we may choose the initial value. So we have two options. First, continuous replanning in which the input will match the measured state at every input update. And in this case, uh, this will lead to a jittering effect since we will continuously introduce discontinuities in our reference to match the state. This is highly undesirable during execution and that led us to design a disturbance detection function in which case the input will match the state only if we decide that the agent is being disturbed. 
Such a function may look something like this. I'm not going to go through the details, but the main idea is that we want to capture whenever the agent deviates far from the reference, in which case the function should produce a large output that we can threshold and decide whether the agent is being disturbed or not. The result is that here, for example, in the image on the lower right, on the pink segments, the agent is being disturbed and we can see that the reference is actually tracking the state and whenever the agent stops being disturbed, the state of the agent accurately tracks the reference. Now, how do we check for collisions and build this optimization problem? For this, we leverage our previous work on offline motion planning and where we adopt now the on-demand collision avoidance strategy. So the main idea is that using the information shared among agents, we're able to predict future collisions and include that information in the optimization in the form of a linearized constraint that imposes separating hyperplanes between the agents that procure a minimum distance between them. Using this technique, we can compare against other known collision avoidance techniques such as the buffered Voronoi cells. So in this case, the agents are trying to exchange positions having a static obstacle in the middle. However, in this case, the buffered Voronoi cells method imposes overly conservative constraints that prevent the agents from progressing further. This is what's called a deadlock. On the other hand, our method creates less constrained optimization problems leading the agents to actually find a solution for this difficult transition task. Now we're jumping right ahead into some of our experiments. In this first experiment, we have two agents exchanging positions. In the top left corner, we see with dotted lines a three second horizon, which showcases how the agents constantly replan their trajectories to go to the desired locations. Even with disturbances, the agents are able to complete the task thanks to our event replanning strategy. Now we're trying to solve a more complicated task, which means that the agents are trying to go through this hula hoop to the other side. Oftentimes, the agents will have to wait on one side to let other agents through. Again, on the top left corner, we see how the agents constantly replan their paths to meet constraints and complete the task. This is done purely in a distributed fashion, only sharing predicted information among them. Once again, when faced with disturbances, the agents apply the event replanning strategy to replan their paths safely and again go back to their desired locations. We tested the scalability of our approach by performing tests with up to 20 quadrotors. In this case, we changed randomly the set points of each of the agents every five seconds. With this test, we can show that our algorithm is able to generate smooth trajectories despite the sudden change in set point. And even in this highly convoluted space, the agents can find trajectories that are non-colliding and smooth. To recap, our online method is able to compute input updates in less than 50 milliseconds for up to 20 quadrotors. Everything is being computed from a single off-board computer. Also, simulations suggest a 50% transition time reduction when compared to the buffered Voronoi cells method and our approach has been validated by extensive experimental results, including disturbances and narrow passages. I would like to thank the DSL team for their support during my research, and I will invite you all to read the paper and meet me at the Slack channel so we can discuss further. Thank you.